QSL Downloader is a tool that will allow you to download incoming QSL images from the eQSL website. The eQSL Downloader uses Java technology. Download the latest JRE available for your system. This can be Open Java or Oracle Java. Find the latest downloads at https colon slash slash www.java.com slash and slash download slash this application should run on any platform that supports Java GUI interfaces. This includes Windows, Mac OS and Linux systems. What is EQSL? If you are not familiar with EQSL then this application may not have much use for you. The EQSL.cc website is a tool amateur radio operators use to exchange contact confirmations that they have made over the air. This is something that has been done for a long time in the world of amateur radio. This practice started with postcards and has evolved into several systems of contact confirmation that include online confirmation sites. This utility only focuses on the EQSL website because it is the only online contact confirmation tool that allows users to use photos to create very nice QSL cards that resemble the postcards amateurs have sent in the past. Many amateur radio operators no longer participate in this practice and or only care about an online confirmation. This tool is not for those operators. After you have the Java JRE installed you can download the latest EQSL downloader version from the Indiana Elmer Network website http colon slash slash www.indianaelmernetwork.us After you have downloaded the tool, you can run it by double-clicking on the icon for the jar file. If that does not work, you might need to launch it from a command line or a script, bat or shell file. If you downloaded the zip file, you will need to extract the files from the zip file before running the application. On Windows you might need to right-click on the icon and select Properties. Once Properties dialog appears you can select Unblock. If you do not see this option but seem to have some issues you might Google how to unblock an application on Windows. When you launch the application please provide the login ID, password and if you use multiple QTH option in EQSL select the QTH you wish to download from. If you do not know what the QTH option is, leave it blank. Check the archive checkbox so that you only download from the archive folder. Select a path to download your images to. On Windows this might be a subfolder in your pictures folders. Select a start date and end date and click download. The application will now download images from EQSL. This process of downloading EQSL images is slow. This is a limitation that is required from the EQSL API guide. If you try to download too fast the website will start to block your requests. When downloading images please do not try to go to the EQSL website as more requests to the website may cause the application to get blocked temporarily. If this happens, wait 30 minutes and try again. The image folder will become very large. It may take some time for your system to open this folder as it grows. This is normal. It is tempting to view this folder as large icons, but this will slow it down even more. Please do not rename the files. The file names help determine if the EQSL has already been downloaded. The file name does contain he call sign, date, time mode, band and RST. Things to consider. You can store your images on a drive that has a backup to an online cloud, such as Dropbox or OneDrive. This will allow you to share these images. You can use the photo screensaver to point to this folder have your QSL card proudly displayed on the screen when your system is idle. If you do this in a public place, keep in mind some amateur's tastes for images are less desirable and you may want to delete those images. You can find the file based on the call sign and QSO data. You might replace that image with a file that has the same name to avoid downloading it again. I also have instructions available online on how to use this tool on a Raspberry Pi to make an EQSL photo frame. Many small monitor Pi case options exist for this project. If you have interest, you can find that information on the Indiana Elmer Network website.
Hope you enjoy this tool and find it useful. 73 de AC9HP